M0 FXB just here playing around with a bit of FTA after the firmware upgrade on the 705. So we've got it all working. We've only just turned it on, no contacts yet. We're only running 5 watts and it's um, the SWR is working fine on the G5 RV, um, or is fine. Um, but um, yeah, not sure how much actual power radiating out because I haven't actually earthed this radio. So anyway, it's all up and running. I'm going to show you my settings, file, settings. Um, so in audio, you can see I've got microphone and speaker USB audio codec. Um, that's the most important thing. Uh, you, you would have had to have pre-installed the USB driver uh, before connecting the radio. And then what you do when you've done that correctly and you connect the radio and you go in device manager, you will see, if I go to ports here, the ICOM serial port A CIV is COM8, and that's the one you use. And then you've got B, COM7. Now, if it doesn't say ICOM, then you haven't installed the driver correctly, so you'll need to uh, un you know, unplug everything, run that driver, even restart the computer to make sure. Sometimes you even have to uninstall your <coughs> serial port driver and then it will just reload so that's important so anyway back to my settings so audio I've shown you general I've got my uh, call sign and my location and then just look at these ticks and then they work for me so copy the ticks um, uh, and let's uh, and then that works for me so radio again com8 selected the board rate is 9600. Now, if you want to check your board rate, just go right click device manager, go to um, ports, right click that one that says COM8, click properties, and port settings. There it is, 9600. Okay, so. Um, and then you can see what I've selected in data bits, stop bits, hand shake. Um, yeah, you can test the cat and you can test the PTT. I've done that and it is working. Big important one is to select cat here because when I didn't do that, it wouldn't transmit. So we are transmitting, but we're not showing any ALC. Normally I would um, expect to see some ALC there and I adjust the ALC by moving this power thing up and down. So, um, right, let's have a look. Um, let's hold TX. Let's hit tune. Yeah, there's no ALC. And normally, if I move this up and down, that will show, but it's not. So, I'm sure there's something I'm doing wrong there. But anyway, normally that's what I would do to get some ALC showing. Um, we're in USB D. So, hold, enable. You select enable TX and every time this green fills up, it TX is automatically, when you get a contact, it goes down through. So, so what I wanted to try out was the icon presets and we're still not getting any LC there. We, we were earlier. So something's not working, you know, the way I would like it. So let's try, let's hold the TX and now, now, We'll go into the new preset menu, so we'll go menu, then menu number two, and we've got this preset menu, which isn't just for FTA, it's actually for other things that you've, you know, let's just say a different, um, a different uh, digital mode with different settings. So what we'll do, we'll hit preset. Now the top one, number one, is just normal operation. Number two is the one that I've come have put in with all those settings. And number three is one that I've put in. Now look, if I select my one, it asks it gives me the you know the, the option to, to load my settings. So let's hold my finger on it. If I go edit. Alright, oh cool, we're actually using it, so we can't edit it. So okay. So let me just go down to the next one, hold it, and if I go edit, now look, you can change, can you see how, 
everything that is preset you can change. It's, I think it's very nifty. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to icons, preset FT8 settings and see if it, see if anything changes. So we're going to hit it. And then we're going to, it says load the preset memory. We're going to hit load. And it's now in use. So I, I don't actually know if it changed anything. I'd have to compare. So now we're going to hit tune. Um, ah, do you want that? So it's changed, see the way it's changed things now. And now my radio doesn't want to, this is why I ended up creating my own one. So I'm guessing that the main reason is the 94H setting. So you go menu, set, go to, um, uh, let's have a look now, connectors, CIV, and see that says A4H. I'm get this is my guess, so don't take my word for it. But that should be 94H. So let's just put that to 94H. 94H. Four H. Okay, got that in. And let's just see if, if I still get an error. Um, so we're going to go... I'll just do tune first. Right, we didn't get an error this time. And look, the ALC looks like it's back. You normally want that just about one, one little blue line here. Now, it is reducing, though. Um, but we are in TX. Yeah, it's gone to nothing, and this is what's been happening. And I, I think it's because my, I need to earth my antenna properly. Um, okay, but well we're in. What power are we? The SWR seems okay. The power's at five. So let's just turn the tune off. Let's enable TX and see if it fires back up with no ALC. But that was still worth noting that the, you know, the, the thing that, uh, see, there's no ALC there. And normally, I would just move this slider up or down, and it would give me ALC. So let's just, uh, we'll have a bit more of a play. But the main thing was to show you. Let's get the power down to two and a half watts. Let's click tune again. Now let's see if it allows me to increase, no it's not allowing me, it's not make. It, I can see the power going up and down, but the ALC isn't. Let's halt. So, it's a bit funny, the, weird the way it, it reduces like that. So, well I think that's enough for now as a demonstration. So let me know if you, you know, what you think, um, is the reason why my ALC is reducing. I mean, I've got my file, my settings, all looks fine to me. General, I've got call sign, audio is input, is the microphone, output is the USB, unless I've got that backwards. Yeah. I got a feeling that's what it is. Would it even let me select it the other way around? No, it won't. So no, I can't have it backwards. Do, 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 do. And I could try unplugging, you know, my microphone that I'm using now. The other thing you can, I could do is go into the settings of um, open sound settings. And see, you've got here and here. It, well, it is selected. Master volume. One, two, one, two. Yeah, you can see that. It could be that the. Yeah, I wondered if the. See, the microphone there is quite low. The. So, manage sound devices. Microphone, we want the USB one, don't we? Quite a few sound devices on here. No, no, that one there. Well, I don't want to disable it. I just want to look at what I can change in it. So, uh, device properties. 
volume start well it seems about right you'd put it halfway up it's about right isn't it let's um enable tx so we're getting a green thing there All right let's enable tx see see the way at first we're getting the alc come up and it, it goes to where i like it which is just one thing showing um, and then it um, vanishes let's let it go on the next transmit ah well that's held a bit better now I haven't changed anything oh it does vanish eventually so should we let we'll just let it run for a bit I'll let it run for about five minutes um, we'll go to the full 5 watts um, I'm not going to try 10 watts until I'm really confident that everything's working right one tip is when you're on the the blue screen here find a little gap see my little cross find a little gap right click and click set receive and transmit Let's just go over a bit more there you go, we've set that and you're just trying to get your signal out in a gap there when it does get a contact it will get a red line and then it will start to uh, automatically reply so yeah again my ALC has vanished which I've not had that before and normally like I said I would just move this power slider up and down Could just be a bad lead for all I know. I could try swapping the lead. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to unplug my this microphone for a bit. Ah, look, the ALC's back now. Mm, funny one. I'm going to let it run for a while. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to let it run. Go make a cup of tea. Um, see if we get a contact.
Yeah, so no luck there. So should we try, let's try 80, see if it makes any difference. Okay, go like so, we go to 80. And we'll click tune. See the LC there is right up high. Lower it down. Okay, let's enable the TX, stop the tune. See if it even holds the AOC this time. The SWR is fine. Turn it up, my That's what it's. Well, you know what it sounds like. So. Oh, look, we've got a contact straight away. Did you see that? Well, that's good, isn't it? And we're on. 5 watts. And it now will auto reply to G seven W J W. So I don't know what's it must have been the antenna then that's just not working well on forty meters. It is a G five RV. So we'll let that look. Oh, that's typical. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> must have selected something by accident. Right, so, uh, well, this is good news. And we are actually on the FT8 settings preset by ICOM, apart from changing the CIV to 94H. So, well, at least we end the video with uh, a contact. So, what I must, something must have been set different, but I can't, I'm trying to think what I changed. So look, 7.3, and then we'll probably get a pop-up window now. Depends if I selected it to do that. Right. I think what I'll do, we'll go 7.3, and then we'll do some live stream. So, uh, so catch you later. Catch you on air. Please remember to subscribe.